What up, peeps? I am back. City CTS P. Nah, just rolling with Sid. Welcome back to another video. Uh, I got another. I'm not gonna call it a beta because I'm giving you a video. Not. Video, video. I gotta have more subscribers. Don't you think? Anywho, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I upload another video. But anywho, I'm back with a video. None other than a review on the CTS 2012. Cool. Yeah, CTS. So. Them twenty twos on there, two fifty five, thirty R twenty two. Wish I I'm gonna uh, color them calipers next. Don't know what color? Comment down below what color I should color those calipers. But yeah, the door. What I like about the doors are. There's no handle. You see, there's no handle. So back here, there's a lever. You just push it. It's electronic. And it opens. Pretty sweet, if you ask me. Those headlights are projecting here. So, whichever way I turn the wheel, the lights will turn that way. They turn to the my right, your left. They turn that way. We got the fog lights down there. Gotta have the fog lights. Gotta have that. That grill. I like the grill. I'm thinking about maybe changing it because a lot of people call it grandpa uh, grill, but I don't think I like it. I like it. I don't see the grandpa. It ain't no grandpa. Project the headlights. Got the daytime running lights. Also got the high beams and the fog light. The 22s, 22. 22 is a 255, 30R22. Got the vent there. It's a beautiful car. It's different. It's very different. Got the gas tank here. And guess what kind of fuel this car burns? Regular unleaded. That's the best part. Damn, I would have had that CTSD. And that's a whole other story. Look how, look how beautiful that car is on, that, on the inside and outside. It's just it's beautiful. Got that trunk space. Got a little clean this up. I ain't got nothing, but you see, it's, it's got, we got, we got a lot of room back there. And that exhaust down there. Look at that down. I upgraded to a boiler exhaust. Sound, give it some type of route. Like that. 
I'm thinking about Tiffany's tail lights. What you think? Comment down below. Let me know what you think. For your garage, to open your garage. This is your reading light. Another reading light for the passenger side. You also got your controls for your sunroof. Again, this controls the sunroof. It's manual. Look, look at that. This sunroof does not move backwards and forward, but it does tilt up. There's no room because of the car, of the dynamics of the car, there's no room for the, the um, sunroof to go backwards and forward. But who needs that? Anywho. Look at the stitching on there. We got got a little carbon fiber there on the door as well. Look at that stitching. That stitching is nice. That stitching is nice. I like how they did the color in the two tones. Like I got tan and like a grayish color interior, and the roof is like black. I wish it was like Alcantara, but I mean that's nor here nor there. But either way, it gets the job done. We got that soft touch leather up here with the stitching as well. One day, one day, one day. Here we got the rear view mirror. We got orange saw on here. GM cars, they always have their own stuff. That's a nice feature of GM car. Another thing I like about this car is when you're getting in the back, nobody rarely gets in the back because it's so small. It's basically a coupe. Who gets in the back? Anyhow, um, to open the, I mean, to get back there is a lever on the back of here. And you can also, you put this button and you can slide the seat backwards and forward. Forward and backwards. That's, that's pretty cool. But look back there. It's, it's, it's not even. I, I don't. I don't. I don't put them inside the back there. I think that's torture. Look at that ceiling back there. It's a coup. It's vicious. Nobody's ever actually been back there. Uh, but you got cup, uh, cup, uh, whatever you call those things, where you can put your cups for your drinks. You get it. You know what I'm talking about. These actual, uh, the seats actually. You can pull this and the seat fall down to the truck, to the truck, and you can see to the truck. Both sides. I might put some speakers back there because nobody sits back here, actually. But I think that's nice. You got a little storage back here as well. You can put things back there. But 
That's nor here nor there. Now let's go check this engine. door here got the automatic window up and down mirrors left and right um there's no door handle i can't push this button down and it opens and if by chance your battery run dead or something you have this lever here where you can pull out so you won't get stuck in the damn car you don't want to get stuck in the car, especially for those cars for people. You've been to tow this car trying to get out. Anywho, we're gonna go on the inside and go from there. I need to start this thing up, cause it's hot. It's keyless. It's a keyless system. It's got that there. So all you do is tap that. The car comes on. I like that. I like that. I'm a little hot. I'm gonna be hot out here. Anywho, we got the tachometer. Uh, got the RPM, speed. Also got the fuel, um, oil PSI, and the temperature. We got the steering wheel. Look at that! Look at look at that nice badge on it. Caddy, I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. you. You changed the game up. I don't know why you guys stopped making this car, but this is the last, I mean, the last uh, of the coupe. So, you know, yeah, I need to bring this back because, you know, I, 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 I like this. So, you got your cruise control over here. You got your set. You got the positive and the negative where you can speed up, slow it down. You can source, you can change your music. And that's how to turn the... Um, Turn it off. You got your volume controls over here. You can change the station here, and you can use this to call over here. You got uh, your vent there. You can turn it on and off here. You got your uh, system here where you can change different settings on your your dash, like here. Let's see. That's just the mileage trip, fuel range, timer, economy, and speed and runes, and so on. I like to leave one there so I can see digitally how. Also, if you hit this, this button here, it changes. Uh, you can show your all life. I only got 27. I need a raw change. Uh, English, different settings. Higher settings, voltage, and all of that. Yeah. So the one that I have here does not have navigation. It does not have navigation. So usually the ones with the navigation, this will pop up and the navigation will be here. But here you can change your stations and everything there. I just use my phone to um, play street music. Here, it's a pretty simple setup. Uh, it's all about, uh, you got your different settings for the radio, you got the uh, aux, you got the HDD where you can put a CD in here, and you can save, um, save a CD to the drive here, you got your XM radio here, and you can also record music and all different things or whatever, you got your, uh, your play, your forward, 
fast forward, your revert, your rewind or whatever. And then you got your temperature climate controls here. You got, um, you know, the climate controls here. And, 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 and it's driver and passenger side to here. Only like I just wanted to hit it. You got a little storage here where you can put, um, I just put a little coins and candy on there. You got your gear here. You got park, reverse, neutral, and drive, and you also can put it into manual mode. Again, I wish I had this in the six, but I mean, they're hard to find. Don't know about know how to drive a manual no more, so they don't make them or sell them as much. Comment down below and let me know if any of you can drive a manual. Because if you can drive a manual, you can drive any darn thing. A tractor, trip, well, any man, the tractor trailers are automatic now too. Damn shit. Any. So you got your glove box here. You got ample amount of space in there. You got storage over there. Your windows. Yeah. Look at these. Check these seats out. Be 2012. Don't look bad to me. Hey! <laughs> well, that's my review on the Cadillac CTS Coupe 2012. Seven years later, 2021. Like, comment, subscribe. If you don't, I'm going to kick your fucking ass. It's like, like, comment, subscribe. Oh, not seven years. I meant to say nine years. Sometimes I don't know how to count. I ain't good with doing numbers. But I am good with that money, though. That's the only numbers I'm kind of good with. But, yeah. Nine years. Like, comment subscribe and till next time me and this beauty is gonna go for a little spin peace